Hello and welcome to part two of my first macro. In the first part we loaded up a couple of macros and in the second part we're actually going to see how to run those macros. If you remember in part one we had a couple of keystrokes Alt F8 and Alt F11 and I wonder actually if you spotted my deliberate mistake of mixing up the F8 and F11 at one point. I'm sorry about that. Well we might as well revise it now. So Alt F8, if I click that, then that gives us a list of the macro names. So there's swap words and prop and analyze, which were our two um, macros that we loaded. And Alt F11, and that takes us into Visual Basic, but sometimes we do get this blank screen. And you think, ah, I've lost my macros, where are they? Don't panic. If you close that down again, if you go back and do Alt F8 again, and this time you click on Edit, then it will load up uh, Visual Basic, but there is the Prop and Analyze and there is Swap Words, so you have actually got those, you haven't lost them. Right, so let's close that. So we now want to think about actually running the macros, and so we're going to start with Prop and Analyze, which analyzes the text and looks to see if there are proper nouns that uh, might be in pairs of misspellings. So we need some text for that and if you see I've actually put some text in this file here down the bottom there's it says there are 14,000 words. So if I want to run it Alt F8 gives up the list of macros. Prop and Analyze is the one we want. Click on that and say we want to run it. The macro is now running and it says, do you want to run this? And we say yes. So it then loads up the text out of that file, puts it into a new document, sorts into alphabetical order, plays around with it, does various tests to compare, and then comes up with a result and shows us uh, anything that it thinks might be of interest to us. So you've got pairs of words there that might be misspellings. OK, so we run that one. Let's close that down. Uh, so let's try and run the other macro. And you may have, that's called swap words. You may have noticed that we've got Beverly Paul here. That was a deliberate mistake. Uh, we want to swap those around. So if we click in the first of the two words, Alt F8, click on swap words and run, and it switches them around. Well, that's all very well, but the whole point of a macro like that is that you want to swap words round as you're busy reading a sentence and you just want to do it quickly and keep your focus on the meaning of the sentence. So how can we do it quickly? We need a keystroke. And in the book it tells you how to do it, in my book, but uh, if, we, if we see it happening on screen, uh, it's easier to get hold of. So it says, find a blank part of the ribbon and right click on it and in the menu there you've got customize the ribbon click on that down the bottom here you've got keyboard shortcuts customize so we do that and here's our customize keyboard window so it says plus press M twice once twice and we've got to macros and then just to confuse you in the right hand side here we've got a load of macros and that's because unfortunately I've got math type installed on this computer. So down the bottom there we've actually got the two we had before prop and analyze and swap words. So it's swap words we want to think of a keystroke for and here it says press new keystroke uh, uh, shortcut key so click in there and we think well what keystroke do we want? Swap, okay how about control S? So I click control S and it says currently assigned to file save and so we think ah yeah no uh, control S is not a good one that's used for saving so if I delete that one if I backspace it there if I try well okay what about alt S and down here it says currently assigned to unassigned so that's okay so if I click on assign so it now says that for swap words the current key is Alt S. So that's OK. So we can close that down. We can close that one down and we're ready to use it. So if I click in a word there and do Alt S, then it switches those two words 
switch them back again so we can switch any two words by using Alt S. Okay so now you know how to add macros you can add them one by one and how to assign keystrokes to them and how to run them off the menu. Uh, but I've got a set of macros that you could use if you want to uh, I call it the macro starter pack and this would allow you to load up a set of 18 macros all at one go and have keystrokes assigned to them and all, to do that you just have to follow a simple set of instructions so that might be useful. Anyway that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.